dear learners in coming videos we will discuss factors affecting sn1 and sn2 reactions generally the rate of sn1 and sn2 reactions depend on the four factors the first one is the structure of alkyl group the next one is leaving group ability of leaving group and nature of solvent and nucleophilicity of nucleophile we will discuss the structure of alkyl group if you take sn1 reaction the rate of sn1 reaction depends on the stability of carbocation which is generated in the solvalysis step more the stability of carbocation higher the rate of sn1 type of reactions the stability of carbocation depends on electronic factors such as inductive effect mesomeric effect and hyperconjugation if you take sn2 reaction the nucleophile attacks on the reaction center backside to the leaving group the reaching of nucleophile onto the reaction center depends on the nature of substituents which are attached with reaction center so here steric factors play a vital role in deciding rate of sn2 reaction yeah. sn1 reaction in sn1 case the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the stability of carbocation as the stability of carbocation increases the rate increases the stability of carbocation increases as the number of alkyl group increases we know that alkyl groups these are electron releasing groups these groups release electrons to the carbocation center and decreases positive charge so there is a increase in stability of carbocation due to increase in number of alkyl groups it is due to inductive effect and hyperconjugation the stability of carbocation increases with the increase in number of alkyl groups if you take tertiary secondary primary and methyl carbocations in tertiary carbocation you can find three alkyl groups attached with carbocation center so here the stability order will be tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary greater than methyl so the rate is parallel to the stability of carbocation so the rate will be tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary greater than methyl the stability of carbocation also depends on resonance effect or mesomeric effect if you take allylic and benzylic halides the carbocation is stabilized due to delocalization of pi electrons and also positive charge if you take allylic the positive charge is distributed over two centers two carbons so there is a diminishing of positive charge on a particular center so there is a increase in stability of allylic carbocation due to resonance or mesomeric effect if you take uh, benzylic you can find five resonance structures in these five resonance structures the positive charge is distributed over different carbon finally the positive charge on a particular carbon decreases so the stability increases due to delocalization of pi electrons and the distribution of positive charge for our different carbons the stability of allylic and benzylic is more when compared with uh, uh, when compared with alkyl carbocations so in this case you can find higher rates of sn1 type of reactions 
So if you take benzylic or allylic halide, they can exhibit a SN1 type of reaction. And if you take a vinylic and a aryllic or phenylic, in these cases, the non-bonding electrons on the halogen participate in the resonance. And there is a partial double bond character between carbon and halogen due to delocalization of uh, non-bonding electrons. So the strength of the carbon halogen bond is higher when compared with uh, the carbon halogen bond which is in the alkyl halide. Due to this region, the vinylic and the aryllic halides will not generate uh, more stable carbocations. And this is the order of stability of um, carbocations. The most stable carbocation is tertiary, tertiary benzylic carbocation. This one is uh, equally stable with the tertiary allylic carbocation. The next one is a secondary benzylic and a secondary allylic carbocations. And the tertiary alkyl carbocation is equally stable with the secondary benzylic and allylic carbocations. And the next one is benzylic carbocation or allylic carbocation. This one, the stability of these two are nearly equal to secondary alkyl carbocation. The next one is primary alkyl. The next one, vinyl. The next one is phenyl and the next, the least stable is methyl. So the halides which generate benzylic or allylic or secondary or tertiary carbocations, they can participate in SN1 type of reactions. In the case of primary or vinyl or phenyl or methyl, due to less stability of carbocations, they will not participate in the SN1 type of reactions. The rate of SN2 reaction depends on steric factor. More the steric hindrance around the reaction center less the rate of SN2 reaction. Suppose if you take a methyl halide, here the green color indicates halogen, the red color indicates reaction center that is carbon. These three are hydrogens. Here the approaching of nucleophile on reaction center is very easy due to less steric hindrance of uh, hydrogens. We know that hydrogens are very small in size. When you introduce methyl group, methyl group is bulky group when compared with hydrogen. So here, the approach of nucleophile onto the reaction center is slightly difficult. So the reaction center is slightly hindered. In the case of secondary, when you introduce two methyl groups, here the approaching of nucleophile on reaction center is very difficult. So the reaction center is mostly hindered. Suppose when you introduce three methyl groups on the reaction center, then the approaching of nucleophile on reaction center is completely difficult. Here the reaction center is completely blocked by three bulky methyl groups. So, in the case of SN2 reaction, the methyl halides are more reactive when compared with the primary. Primary is more reactive than secondary. Secondary is more reactive than tertiary. Generally, tertiary alkyl halides will not participate in SN2 type of reactions. Let's take SN2 type of reactions of vinyl halides and uh, aryl halides. In these compounds, you can find pi electron cloud above the plane and below the plane. 
The spy electron cloud blocks the approach of nucleophile to the reaction center. So in these compounds, the approach of nucleophile onto the reaction center is very difficult. So these compounds cannot exhibit a SN2 type of reactions. Let us compare different alkyl halides. If you take metal halide, it cannot exhibit SN1 type of reaction because here the generation of carbocation is very difficult. The carbocation which is generated is highly unstable. SN2 is possible due to less steric hindrance around reaction center. In primary case, here also the primary carbocation is highly unstable. So there is no SN1. Here less steric hindrance, so there is a possibility of SN2. And in SIG tree, the secondary carbocation is reasonably stable, so it can exhibit SN1. And here in the case of secondary, the nucleophile can approach reaction center. So in the case of secondary, you can find SN1 and SN2. There is a competition between SN1 and SN2 type of reactions. In the case of tertiary, highly stable carbocation, so it can exhibit SN1 type of reaction. Here, due to steric hindrance, the nucleophile cannot reach reaction center. So SN2 type of reactions are not possible in the case of tertiary alkyl halides. In the case of vinyl and phenyl, both are not possible. In the case of vinyl and phenyl, SN1 is not possible because the CX bond strength is very high. And SN2 is not possible due to blocking of nucleophile. There are some exceptions to SN1 and SN2 type of reactions. Generally, if you take the tertiary alkali halides, they exhibit SN1 type of reactions. But if you take bicyclic compounds in which a halogen is attached at the bridgehead position, the bridgehead position is a tertiary carbon. Even though it is a tertiary carbon, it cannot generate more stable carbocation. Because if the carbocation is generated at bridgehead position, the angle should be 120 degrees. In bicyclic compounds, it is impossible to make 120 degrees at bridge, bridgehead position. So there is no generation of a carbocation at bridgehead position in bicyclic compounds. That's why these two bicyclic compounds cannot exhibit SN1 type of reactions even though the carbon is a tertiary. We know that SN2 type of reactions will be exhibited by primary alkyl halide. I have taken neopentyl bromide. It's a primary halide. Even though it is a primary halide, it cannot exhibit SN2 type of reaction. Here, the carbon, the reaction center is attached with a very bulky group that, that is a tertiary butyl group. This tertiary butyl group is very bulky group. So this one hinders the approach of nucleophile to the reaction center. You can clearly observe in this picture. Here the reaction center is blocked by very high bulky group that is tertiary butyl group. Here also you can observe. Due to steric hindrance of tertiary butyl group, Neopentyl bromide cannot exhibit SN2 type of reactions. In coming videos, we will discuss uh, the other factors which can influence SN1 and SN2 type of reactions. Thank you.